Hey guys, welcome to Ghost Lounge. My name's Nix, and here is another video. And today's video is a movie review. Last night I saw the new Child's Play remake. And first of all, I just want to say that, you know, whole remakes, you know, a little bit iffy. There have been good ones and there have been some bad ones. Bad ones. There's really one that really sticks out, and this is Nightmare on Elm Street one. That one was really good. Is this was well? I'll talk about more of that. I'll do a review of that another time. But this one, this Charles Play remake is was pretty good. I liked it a lot. Uh, if you haven't seen it, there, there will be spoilers. So I will. If you don't want, if you haven't seen it, don't watch this video. Click off of it because I'll be saying having some spoilers in this. Uh, you know, some channels, you know, they do like. Two videos, they do a spoiler review and then they do a non spoiler. I'm gonna be when I do my reviews, they'll really have spoilers in them because if I were to try to do a non spoiler, I would something would slip out and I would give a spoiler. So, yeah, I will be doing spoilers in this in my reviews. But anyway, if you haven't you know seen it or haven't been following this one. It's different from the 1988 version. There's no more, you know, serial killer having a soul transferred into a doll. There's none of that anymore in this one. This one kept up to date with today's, you know, technology. You know, we have things like Alexa, smartphones, drones, you know, stuff they didn't have back then in like the 80s and, you know, 90s role. And Chucky in this one is an AI doll. It is just a doll, you know, no soul trapped inside it, nothing. Um, so basically, I have a list of the pros and cons on my computer, and I'm gonna talk about the pros first. All right, the first pro I want to talk about is the acting in it. The acting was great. I I really like the um. Katie played Andy in this one. Uh, it was Gabriel Bateman, I think his name is. He was good. He's he had pretty, he's a little older than the original Andy. You know, Andy in the original was I think six. This one is thirteen. So you know, there's a kind of a, you know personality difference there. You know, he still has innocent you know, innocence, but you know, in the original, you know, he was like a little kid. Though, so his innocence was you know higher in that one. But he did a good job. Audrey Parla did a good job as Karen. Mike Norris did a... He was, the guy, I forget was the actor's name. It's like Brian something. But anyway, he did a good job. He he was... I mean, he wasn't in as much as thought he was going to be in it. You know, Mike Norris and the original was in it pretty much. A lot of it. He had way more scenes in the original. But he kind of felt, felt like he was... Like the comedy relief in the movie, you know, and you know most of the, most of the scenes were you know, for like comedy. Although there was some old comedy for old characters, he kind of had the more you know most comedy in it. So the acting was top notch. I really, I really enjoyed the acting. They had some good you know acting choices in this one. The next part. The, Pons. Pros I want to talk about is the characters. The characters were more, I guess, almost, well, yeah, they were kind of relatable a little bit, but at the same time, they won't. The characters in the original were more relatable, like the Karen and Andy in the original were a little bit more, you know. People could, you know, sympathize, sympathize with them more. But you know they all you know Karen's a single mom take care of her kid. She's young, so I mean that could be hard to do for you know most single parents out there. Um, the characters were very really good. The kid characters, Andy and his friends, <coughs> they did they were pretty good. I I enjoyed it. I've se I've seen a lot of reviews from this movie that saying that the acting weren't too good. I I had to disagree with those reviews. The acting from the kids were pretty good, you know. Child actors are kind of 
and they're kind of iffy nowadays. I mean, they're good ones, some, and then some of them all just, <laughs> they're just horrible. Oh, not very good, to be honest. Um, this one, the kid, Al Elman, in this one, because, you know, in the original, you know, they weren't friends. And he didn't have any friends in this, in the original. In this one, he had friends. So that kind of added, uh, you know, Stranger Things, it, part one type, you know, feel to it. And, so they were, they were pretty good. Uh, Karen, she, I like, you know, she's more... I don't know what, how to say it. Like, she kind of felt... They kind of felt like she was more like a, you know, a sister type, you know, personality to her. You know? Like, she lets, like, Andy cuss in the house. You know, he let... She lets him, you know, get away with, you know, most parents would probably give their kids. And... So, she kind of felt like more like a sister to him. <laughs> So, I mean, she was kind of iffy with the character wise before. Uh, like I said, Mike Norris, he was good. I mean, he was funny. He had a lot of funny scenes. And, you know, he has mom, he's kind of added some more, you know, humor to the movie. So, character's pretty good. The next one, I want, next thing I want to talk about is how, like, the progression of Chucky. You know, in the original, you know, he's still a killer, cool trapped in a doll. So, you know, he had evil intentions in the beginning anyway. This one, you know, he's just an AI doll, so, you know, he good and friendly in the beginning, you know. He wants to be his best best friends with, you know, Andy. In the original, the original truck, he could kill less by have it, making friends with him. <laughs> you know, he wanted to kill him or try to transform his soul into him. So, you know... He, Chucky was good in the beginning. In the beginning of the movie, you see the factory worker making him, and the factory worker disables all the, uh, I got the safety feature, you want to call it. You know, he, so he, he allowed, like, Chucky, like, learn cuss words, you know, learn, you know, violent ten tendencies. And so he's basically a hack doll, basically. So I like like how in the beginning he's nice and then he, he progresses to being the evil, you know, killer doll that we all know. I also want to say that, you know, if you're coming into this movie expecting, like, expecting, you know, the same type of thing from the original, you know, a foul mouth, you know, violent, mean doll. I mean, he, he says cuss words, but not like, He's got that human personality to it, you know what I mean? So, he kind of like learns, you know, as he goes along. He learns new things as he goes. So, I like how, you know, beginning he's good, and then it slowly transforms him into evil. Like, it's evil mode, I like to call it. So, I like that. That's a pretty interesting element to it. Uh, the kills. The kills were, <laughs> they were about, I think they were Four, if I remember quickly. Yeah, four kills in this one. And, you know, one wasn't Chucky's, you know, doing. You know, the first one was a suicide kill. So, and the other ones were Chucky kills. Uh, <laughs> they were pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, I would give them about that. The pra practical effects, you know. Movies, these, whole movies these days, they use too much CGI. Although there was some CGI, well, I'll talk about it later on in this review. There's some G CGI's to this movie, but, you know, they weren't overdone, like most movies these days. N not overdone like, you know, sci-fi movies, <laughs> sci-fi channel movies like Sarknado and all of those. are, you know, CGI fest, <laughs> as I like to call them. But the goal was good, you know, the practical effects, so it was like, you know, the fake blood, you know, no, you know, computerized shit. And it, so that it was pretty good. Uh, the comedy in this movie, it wasn't like overdone, but it was still some comedy. Like there was this one scene where Andy's trying to get uh, like prank his uh, stepdad or his mom's boyfriend, and he's trying to get Chucky to do these you know creepy, scary, creepy looking faces. 
and he sort of opens his eyes big and it looks weird and he's trying to say smile big and his smile's like he's like smiles like wide and stuff it looks really funny. So the funny you know, it was it was the comedy in this was pretty good, you know, especially with Mike Norris and one of Andy's friends, I forget his name. But he added some, you know, humor humor to it, but not as much as Mike Norris did in this one. So again pops for that one. Alright, now the two next two things I want to talk about are probably the two you know, main things people look for in this Child's Play reviews is one, the voice of Chucky, and two, the Chucky like animatronic itself. Uh, first off, the voice, Mark Hamill, amazing job as Chucky, you know. I kind of liked Bright Dwarf better, but Mark Hamill still had, you know, added his own spin to it. Um... The voice, you know, in the original, you know, well, he talked in his regular human voice, you know, it was more, you know, humanized, so it was more, like, mean and stuff. In this one, since it was robot, it was robotic -y, you know, and, uh, so he added that robotic sound to his voice. Like, something you hear, like, on a computer or something, like Siri or something. Uh, so, his voice was good, he did an amazing job as for voicing him. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, Chuck animatronic was pretty good. I enjoyed it. In the beginning, when you first see his mouth move, it's kind of like, okay, that's, that's weird looking. It's pretty weird looking. But after a while, you kind of, you kind of get used to it. At least I did. You know, at least I got, you know, used to how his mouth moved. But with this being an AI robotic doll, you know, the mouth movement felt right for that, you know, for that aspect of this movie. If it, if they went went with the you know the serial killer putting a sword into a doll, then it wouldn't really work as good. But in this one, in this case, it was I liked it. The ending, specifically like how like the final battle, as you would say, uh, basically after the. Zed Mart massacre and the toys came alive and started like killing a lot of people. Uh, and he's like left in, <coughs> excuse me, and he's left in the wet in the store, going to look for his mom who's been tied up, and um, she has like a a noose around her neck and he has to go to stable and he you know he goes in the back storage room I guess you could say it, and his mom's at the end of it noose around her neck, about to be lifted by a forklift, and, you know, he has to go save her, and he, when Chucky attacks him, Andy, he manages to go to a shelf and climb up it, and he's, he has, like, a chainsaw type thing, I think it was more like a, like a, what do you want to call it, like a, something like you would trim bushes with, I forget what they call it, like a weed whack, not a weed whacker, but something similar to that. I, mean, I cut like you know bushes roll. So he's trying to come go down, and all of a sudden, Chucky peels behind him, attacks him, and Andy ends up jumping onto the rope, hanging onto it. Chucky's on his back, trying to get get at him. Andy manages to get the uh, knife out of Chucky's hand and cut the rope, causing him to fall to the ground. And then, after a little tussle between the two, Andy ends up getting Chucky to the ground, and he has, like, uh, like a battery in the middle of his chest, of the doll's chest, for, like, the battery source role, so Andy takes the knife and stabs it in that, and, you know, causes it to, you know, basically shut down and die, basically. But, then, he ends up coming back again, and, but he ends up getting shot, and his head ripped off, and then at the end, the kid, but Andy and his friends, thought, basically beat the <laughs> beat the doll's body to death. I guess you could say. So that was good. All right, now the we like the end ending of this. It left it it left it open for a sequel. Basically, you see the good guy dolls are being put back on the shelves, and they zoom in on this one good guy doll, and. Basically, I always forgot to mention that in this movie, when he's good, his eyes are blue. When he goes into his evil mode, his eyes turn red. 
So basically, they zoom zooming into the doll, and all of a sudden, his eyes go red. So it's like, okay, maybe Chucky survived. Maybe he put his soul, his soul, his, I guess, memory into a different doll. But I've seen some of you saying that maybe the doll that you know, Andy killed in the ending wasn't was a no doll that Chucky brought back to life, brought to life. And was using it as like a decoy, basically. So I mean, left it open for a sequel. So I'm interested. I'm interested to see if they do a sequel. I would post. I would personally like a sequel. I would like to see what they do with it. And I read that you know that the act, not actor, the director said if this movie does well, you know, they would most likely do a sequel. And the reviews for this movie have been pretty good. I've seen a couple of bad ones, but most of them I've, I've seen you know, are pretty good. Including this one. This one, my review, uh, it was great. So those were the pawn, pro, I keep on to say pawns. Pros of the movie. Now the cons. There were really two main cons in this movie that I kind of had a problem with. One was the CGI. Like I said, this wasn't like completely CGI. It wasn't too much of it. But the CGI that they did have it in it was not very good. I bet on the sci fi movie, you know, channel movies, but not. I'm a little bit better than that, though. Uh, mainly, like when he was running, they would use CGI. I mean, when he's jumping around, they would use CGI. And also in this one scene, you see Chucky staying by Andy while Andy's, I, I figure he was like cutting up. He's cutting up something, like chopping up like onions, whoa. And he stabs like the, uh, Andy stabs the cutting board, or you want to call it. And Chucky's watching, you know, he's watching him and he's watch, learning like the movements. And Andy walks away and Chucky looks at a knife and he moves his hand and goes like, pretends like he's like stabbing like the board. When he does that, you could tell that was CGI. And that was obviously CGI. It wasn't, you know, an am the animatronic arm doing it. And I remember reading a while back that the director said it was at least 90% CG uh, animatronic. And I don't know what I say, 90%. I would say 75, 80, 80% CGI. So. I mean, when you go to see the movie, don't don't expect it to be horrible, but don't expect it to be good. You know what I mean? And so that was a bit if you know what I mean. Uh, they could it could have been better. Uh, and then the way he blinked in this movie was kind of <laughs> you know it wasn't like you know the wizard dog we actually saw like eyelids blinking. It was more like the eyes were like screens, and it was like. It go black and then go back to the eye color and roll. So it was kind of that was a bit weird. They could at least on the eye like the eyelids and stuff like you know clothing. So those are only two cons I had: the CGI and the way you blinked. So yeah, but overall the movie is really really good. I enjoyed it. I would give it. You know, I would give it a, uh, how much did I give it? I wrote it down. An 8 out of 10. It wasn't good. It wasn't good, but it wasn't horrible, horrible. It was pretty good. So, 8 out of 10 for me, for this one. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, don't go into the movie expecting what you, you've seen in the original Truckies, you know? Because the Truckie in this one is, is different. You know, it doesn't have that human feel to it. You know, the way he is in this movie. Like he did in the original. Because in the original, it was like soul. A human soul and the doll. So, it had a, that human uh, feel to the doll. So, yeah. So, anyway. 8 out of 10. Good movie. Amazing. The pros, the kills, goal. The switch from good to bad. Chucky, the animatronic. Mark Hamill's voice as Chucky, the characters, the acting, ending, sequel possibilities, and comedy were the pros. 
and then the blinking and CGI will the cons. But yeah, I'm mean, overall good movie. And I can't wait to see if they make a sequel to it because I would like a sequel to it. I think it would do good. And you know we haven't had, we haven't really got any sequels to any you know remakes. We kind of got the Rob Zombie sequels, but we'll talk about those in those reviews. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, what else is though? Like I said, I always forget if there was something I'm forgetting. But yeah, oh well, good me. So. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.